What was the most interesting part of the book? When Alex had breakfast with his son Dave and his daughter Sharon, he got the idea of solving the problem he got. Through the conversation, he recognized that Nuni should be put into the process depending on Herbie's working speed. There was lots of interesting on all of this like this in the book. Well, for me, when Alex go to hiking with his son David, he suddenly realized what the concept of statistical fluctuation or dependent events that you, Professor Yona said before. And as Alex couldn't get the point at first, it impressed me as this part of the book showed the fact that the answer is not always very far from us. And plus, Alex's thought process that he substituted the notions to actual world was quite impressive for me. Mm -hmm. Uh, when I read the book, uh, Zona came to the factory and, and advised people to increase the productivity of bottle and resources. And to do this, he proposed to, the, to run the old machine, which is now in operation. And some people opposed to this because this can increase production cost. However, Zona said that if they bear that small cost, the production capacity and output would increase and it would give a big profit to the company. So I was very impressed to know that changing that bottle and process can give that kind of big amount of profit. Mm. So for me, when Jonah asks Alex what is the company's ultimate goal, and Alex realizes that the goal of his company is to make money, a professor like Jonah gives correct guidance to start up with our work is very useful. I like the way how Jonah gave some time for Alex to think about the questions, and an exceptional manager like Alex figured out the way, figure out the answers by pondering over some suggested points so that they can understand its true nature in and around themselves by relating those points to their surroundings. Uh, can we find cases like hiking examples around us? Uh, I think group project can be the case. The students often separate the project and distrib distribute it to team members. Although everyone tries one's best to finish the work, the speed will be different from each other. The latest person thinking only the length of time will be the bottleneck of the group, and the work after the person will be delayed, and so on. And I think the total amount of time to finish the group project will be and Last vacation, I wrote the book for high school students with my friends. There was lots of work to do to write, so we separated the work and distributed it to each person. What I found was that the speed of doing, was, doing work was depending on the person. There was also a bottleneck member like Herbie in the book. The total, the total time it took for finished work was dependent on the bottleneck person. So for me, I have a subway example. So when there is a sick passenger requiring assistance in the train, uh, so an emergency stop has to happen. After that, all the other train has to be delayed from behind. So that's the example I have. Can we relate the book to the concepts we studied in the class? The conception of bottleneck would be appropriate. There was bottleneck in the Alexa's factory. Uh, he found that inventory was filing between the resources, and he solved the problem. That is the concept we learned in the chapter three. I think. I think so too. And bottle, I think the concept of bottleneck, capacity, and utilization can be adapted for Alexa's case in all the books. And in the book, Alex handles the crisis by solving bottleneck's problem in his factory and he tried his best to maximize the utilization of the factory. And capacity will be the divided section's ability to process all the, all the processes and produce the goods. Uh, I think that the main content uh, about bottleneck is also similar with the class we have learned. Um, Jonah Professor mentions that the capacity of the entire, entire process depends on the capacity of the bottleneck process. And therefore, the important thing is to improve the capacity of the bottleneck process. And in the class, we also learned that there is a, when there is a lot of processes in the operation, what we should consider is the bottleneck process. So I think that was very similar to what we have learned in class. 
So I think we can improve efficiency in the company by distinguishing three operation measurement. So the first thing is a throughput, which is a rate at which the system generates money through sales. And second, inventory, which is all the money the system has invested in, purchasing things which it intends to sell. And lastly, operating expenses, which is all the money the system spends in order to turn inventory into throughput. So I think the goal is to increase throughput, decrease inventory and operational expenses. What are some of the knowledges that the main character Alex Logo realized and the advices from Professor Yona that can be helpful in our life? And how can you apply them? Um, I think we should learn uh, Alex's attitude for learning driving. First, he believed that the factory was running efficiently enough. Uh, he trusted all the figures that were showing the efficiency, which was found to be wrong later. However, after he recognized what was wrong, he was eager to learn, find out what, what was wrong, and the ways to solve the problems. Plus, the notion of bottleneck, which we also learned in class, would be very useful for us. We can handle many different tasks when we remove bottleneck balancing and catch both effective and efficient. Uh, I think that the attitude how you and a professor approach us to the problem is very impressive. Because he does not observe phenomenon just in surface, but tries to consider every element in the phenomenon. Consequently, he has a different idea with others, and with, uh, those ideas could actually substantially improve the productivi productivity of the company. The way Yona helps Alex was, al was also impressive. He never gives the answer of the problem dire directly, but he just gives him the hint first and then just makes him think deeply by himself. And I think that this kind of like this kind of behavior reflects the considerate personality of Yona Professor. So um, I realize we need to be more like Alex in the fact that no matter what kind of trouble he ran into, he never gave up. There is always a chance to recover as long as your organization is still running. He showed us that the battle is not lost until the moment you give up and stop trying. Also, Alex was very active in asking questions. Whenever he didn't understand anything, he asked Jonah for help. He was open to learning new things and had a great attitude. Being open to other people's idea and being a good listener is a key to success. I agree with you. Alex was so eager to solve the problem. He recognized the goal exactly and did what what was appropriate. I think we have to think of the goal whenever we do something. If we get the answer of what should we pursue it clearly, then the next thing to do would become clear before.